Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Tamara the Paper and Pen Girl. In this short video, I'm going to share with you just a few of the reasons why I've decided to get the 2020 Power Sheets from Cultivate What Matters. Now before we jump right into that, um, here on this channel, we love all things planner related. You know this. And so if you're looking for inspiration, if you're looking for ways to decorate your planner, to utilize your planner to its fullest potential, to reuse some planners that you probably have on the planner shelf of retirement, then this is where you need to be. If that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified of when uh, new videos are posted up. Let's get started. It is a big leap and a big choice and a big decision to invest in getting the 2020 power sheets. Um, why? Okay. For me, goal setting, goal planning, goal achieving takes time. It takes thought. It takes consideration. It takes processing. It takes learning. It takes changing and it takes accountability. And, um, even on a smaller scale, all the way up to the big grandiose goals and dreams and aspirations that you have, there has to be a process, um, and a readiness for that process in order for it to really stick, really sink in, um, for you, for me. And so I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that level of um, digging, for that level of uh, commitment, for that level of accountability. I wasn't ready for that. Does that mean I wasn't achieving any goals? Does that mean I wasn't planning <laughs> um, or making goals? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that I really wasn't digging deeper than the surface level. I was trying to think about getting ready and being ready and doing the digging beyond the surface level. But honestly, I didn't get there, right? I was um, more in the, let me just put something down on paper and go achieve it. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm ready for the digging. And um, if you are ready for the digging, this might be something that you'd like to invest in for yourself. These reasons that I'm going to share with you are not in any particular order. They're just things that came to my mind as I thought about why am I investing $60 in the this particular um, goal planning workbook. Number one that I have on my list, but not necessarily the most important reasons, is that I need to get better at setting goals. Can you use getting better at setting goals in 2020? I need to get better at setting goals. Um, some of us know how to set a goal, um, but how to set a goal that really and truly motivates you, that really and truly is something that you care about, that's not um, mundane, that's not you know just ordinary, a goal that's meaningful, I need to learn how to do that. Um, and, and that's, ooh, child. And being ready for that, as I said before, is gonna require some digging. Uh, so I need to set better, um, be better at setting more attainable, meaningful goals. Um, those big dream goals are great, they're okay. I don't, ha I have those. But in the meantime, as you're going on your way to those large goals, there's smaller milestones, smaller goals that you could be achieving and really and truly taking the time to acknowledge that you've achieved something, to see that you've achieved something and to be content in that particular goal because there's no guarantee that you reach that bigger goal. And if you're never content, with the process, if you're never content with the smaller goals, mm, you know, hmm, food for my thought, right? Food for my thought. So that was one of my pro my thought process. Um, <sighs> number two on my list, y'all, is better follow through. 
I have set goals every single year and those goals are still goals on a list that I don't even know where that list is right now. If you're in that boat, <laughs> this power sheets might be for you as well. Oh my gosh. I've set the goals, put them on a vision board, rewrote the vision board on a page in my planner, switched my planners, put it in a smaller planner. I don't know where it is right now. I don't know. And so the power sheets um, workbook is a place where I can keep all of those in one place right? Where it can be out in front of me in my face for the whole entire year in a, a product, the workbook that I've invested in. And that's an investment in myself. Um, and it's pretty to look at and I could put stickers in it. So I'm not giving up anything by using these, but I do have a lot to gain. And so better follow through on those goals. I believe the, uh, power sheets because it does walk you through here's what you need to do step by step um and that's another one of the reasons it will help me to see okay this is where you're falling short this is why you're not following through and so um that was another one of my uh reasons number three was something that i also stated already is to dig deeper to the real thing that is motivating my need for um, or to attain a specific goal. Ooh, baby. So um, a lot of times we want a goal such as, okay, I want this particular car, a specific car, whether it's a brand type, you know, uh, the model. You want a specific thing. Why do you want it? You know, some of us are just on the surface level, which is me in the past, because, ooh, I want this car because it's the best car that's in this class on the market. Or I want this car because that's the top of the line for my group, right? Keeping up with the Joneses or somebody, right? Um, so it might be those reasons. But when you dig a little bit deeper, you might find that it's another reason that is driving why you feel the need to keep up in that manner. And so when you dig down and you find the root of the issue, then you can actually see how you can deal with that root and achieve a goal that's meaningful, that's really and truly meaningful for you and your life. And so I need to find out the reasons why I want these things, okay? Um, number four, whoo focus. Um, number four for why I would, uh, why I'm going to be getting the uh, power sheets this year is to help me with my focus. Do you have squirrel brain like I have squirrel brain? My attention span is very short and I have to try really hard to focus. And if someone comes and interrupts that focus, AKA, I was having a conversation with one person, another person came and said hi to me and I was gone. Like this conversation was over. I walked off and it wasn't that I meant to do that. <laughs> oh boy. But my attention span needs some work. And so um, I tend to jump from item to item to item to item in search of something that's going to keep my attention span long enough, something that's going to allow me to focus long enough to be able to attain these goals. So previously I was not ready. Um, my brain was okay jumping, but now as I'm maturing, yay me, I'm ready to focus and to be able to do that. I need something that's going to keep my attention. And um, I have wanted the power sheets for the past 12 months. I, I, I procrastinated and did not get them for 2019. And so this year I was on the ball for it this year. So I'll be getting it so that it could help me with my focus so that I could focus on the goals, focus on the things ahead and be able to make sure that I have all of that in one spot. Also, I have been practicing, um, you know, staying in one thing for one particular purpose, and that's been working out well for me. So I know that this is also going to be successful. Squirrel brain, y'all. Um, number five on my list is accountability. 
who needs some accountability in order to get their goals done. Um, accountability is important when you're getting your goals done. Accountability to me with like-minded individuals who are striving to attain goals themselves is what I need. Um, you can be a, you can pick anybody to say oh you're going to be my accountability partner but if that person has no understanding no clue and of of where you are or where you're where you're trying to head or what you're trying to do it's almost a mute point and so um Laura Casey does have um the Facebook group that you'll have access to once you purchase the power sheets um, emails that you'll be getting on a regular basis. You do check-ins. The planner, the, the goal-setting workbook itself has accountability. It has check-ins, uh, monthly check-ins. You got to go and review. I mean, it really has all of that in there. So the planner or slash workbook itself has built-in accountability, but then you have a whole community um, of people that are going to be holding you accountable as well. In addition to that, this has spurred on my Patreon group, which just look out for my Patreon group information coming along, where we will be working through our goals for the entire 12 months together, right? You don't have to share all your goals on there with whatever. This is just sounding board. Like if you need a sounding board, if you need um, some compassion in getting your goals done and some understanding, if you also need some pushing, some inspiration, inspira inspiriting inspiration and some motivation to get the stuff done right some new thoughts some new ideas that's what my patreon group is going to be about so uh, look out for the information on that and so that's going to help me as well with being accountable to those on my patreon group because hey these are the goals that i have am i taking the necessary steps to attain these goals so that was one um and number six comes in with some of the things i've already said guidance Guidance. It's one thing to be able to have a goal planner, but there's no guidance behind it. There's nothing else that comes beyond that. You are left to fend for yourself pretty much and figure out, well, how am I going to motivate myself? How am I going to do X, Y, and Z? What next should I do? How do I take this to the next level? Um, and so I like the fact that the um, uh, Laura Casey uh, and Cultivate What Matters company has resources available so that we can pull on those and have that guidance throughout the whole entire process. The workbook itself does offer that guidance, but there's nothing like a human touch. There's nothing like being able to talk to someone, to hear someone, to be able to ask questions and be able to get your questions answered, um, get things cleared up for you. Some people, uh, while some people are audible learners, right? So I, he, I learn better when you say it to me, not when I read it. Um, and so that's the kind of thing that I uh, do love and appreciate. And I'm looking forward to that. Y'all, they've done a lot of the research. So I don't have to go in here and do all the research necessary to know if this book works or not. It works. Um, a good friend of mine and Denija, that's also here on YouTube. She has had the power sheets for last year and I've been, I've been watching her videos on her doing her check-ins and her thought process and seeing how her thought process has grown, seeing how her thought process um, has changed and evolved and it might not be big giant leaps, but just to see the small changes, the little changes, the little drops in the buckets that are um, contributing to her becoming a better person, to her getting closer to her goals, right? See her work through the uh, roadblocks, the stumbling blocks mm? and those things. So I was like, there's no way I'm not getting the power sheets for 2020. Um, so that, those are some of my thoughts and my reasons why I'll be getting the 2020 power sheets. Please share with us below in the comment section, some of the thoughts and reasons why you are going to be getting the power sheets for 2020. If you are unable to get the power sheets for 2020 because of budgeting reasons, if you save 10 to $15 every single month, for the next year, you'll be able to get your 2021 power sheets. 
Um, I shared with someone uh, at one point that, you know, I'm a happy planet sticker lover. Yes, I am. And um, three happy planner sticker books at regular price is the cost of the power sheets. My sticker books are sitting here looking at me, some of them untouched. Um, and some of them are touched, but I only touch them once. <laughs> but that is not a bad investment for me to be able to invest in myself uh, by getting the power sheets. Um, also, for those who say, well, you know, I buy my stuff on sale because I do as well. Um, hey, mm -hmm, hey, let's talk about the planners that you might not be using, right? Let's talk about other things in your home. It doesn't even have to be planner related. Other things you purchase on a weekly basis. So, I mean, there, where, where there's a will, there's a way. And where, whatever it is that you put more importance and significance on, you will go ahead and spend on those particular things. Just my thoughts, my opinions. Don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Uh, because that's how that's that's how I had to turn around and look at it for myself. Because one of the first things you would say is, why would I invest that much in that? Or I'm not buying this for that. The potential of being able to achieve some or most of my goals more effectively to be able to have more focus, have that guidance, that accountability that I'm looking for, um, a deeper understanding of the reasons why I want particular goals and to set goals that are more meaningful, more impactful, more lasting, right? It's worth $60 to me. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. All thoughts and opinions are welcome as long as they're respectful to um, the community. So leave them in the comment box down below. I will see you all on the morning live at nine o'clock today. Uh, if you're watching this on launch day, and then we will, we will do the launch um, together at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. This is Tamara, the paper and pen girl. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.